Hello students, Michael Sanchez here with Danny. Hi. Danny just got back from camp. Tell us about your fun experience at camp. Um, well, we um, went pontooning on a boat for a day and we, did, we went to, um, on the pontoon boat and we tubed. It yep. was really, really fun. And then for the first time I water skied. Wow. It was really hard, but it was like the best thing I've ever had done. It was super That's fun. Awesome. So I had a blast at camping. And I can tell. I've never seen you so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now that we're back from camp, we're going to kind of warm up a little bit. So okay. why don't you do the F major scale for me? I'm going to mention some things to the audience out there. All right. Good. I didn't mention this earlier because I wanted to talk to the audience out there about this. So what's really important when we're shifting into third position or any position mm -hmm. is to keep the knuckles up, right? Mm -hmm. Now what's easy to do is to shift up into third position, but just have your knuckles up just kind of medium, I'd like to call it. Medium meaning that you're kind of more like this, Danny, kind of more flat with the knuckles, mm -hmm. but we could actually be better, better like this. With the knuckles. Go ahead and try some for me. Play um, first finger in third position on the E string for me. First finger in third position on the E string, which would be an A. Okay. Okay, go ahead and play that note. Okay, now I want you to play a four. Uh huh. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but did you notice that your knuckles went up as you played the four? Mm hmm. I see that very often with students that they're kind of, you know, whatever note they're playing, their knuckles are as high as they need to be. But what we should do is we should always have them up as high as they're ever going to need to be, right? So like with the four, go ahead and pl uh, put your fourth finger down. Could be a little bit higher than that, right? There you go. So keep them that high when you play your first finger. First finger there you go. Good. So if you guys out there, just let you know, so no matter what note you're playing, always keep them up this high. So when I'm shifting, shifting up, I'm not dipping at all. Never dip down. The reason for this is because you want to be able to play every single note possible on the violin with just moving your fingers. Okay. If you start to move the hand down like this and dipping your hand down, it causes you to not play as accurate, more out of tune, and also it restricts your speed. How fast you can play. Okay. Okay. Very good. So I highly recommend you guys to practice your scales, keeping your knuckles up. Very important. I say that often, right, Danny? Yeah. How often do I say knuckles up? Since I, since we've <laughs> taken lessons, how many times have I said knuckles up? Are we talking ten times, hundred times, or thousands of times? Thousands. Maybe thousands, millions. I'd say. Well, I don't know about that. Millions, but <laughs> I'd say lot. probably at least a couple thousand, because <laughs> it's really important to play in the violin. So thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a great day. Email me at rivertownviolin at hotmail.com if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching.